coming up. London will go into tier two when lockdown lifts next week. So what exactly are the rules? We'll have all the details. Tonight, London is in tier two, but only just the health... Good evening. From one minute after midnight next Wednesday, Londoners will be living under tier two or high alert coronavirus measures once the national lockdown is lifted. It means pubs, restaurants, theatres and non-essential shops can reopen, but still with many restrictions. Well, today's announcement from the government also came with a warning from the mayor urging us all to stick to the rules to avoid moving into tier three, which will happen if infection rates continue to rise. Our political correspondent Simon Harris has the latest. So London remains in tier two for now, but Kent and Slough now have much tougher restrictions. The only places in the southeast to be placed into tier three. Graeme Stothard is in... Well, Simon joins me in the studio now. Simon, we saw in your report that warning from Matt Hancock, didn't we? It seems that London got lucky by being placed into Tier 2. ...in Tier 3, but overall the infection rate in London is coming down. Well, joining us now to talk more about what this means for businesses in the capital are JJ Goodman, owner of the London... There will, of course, be much more on the lockdown lift and the tier system on the ITV News at 6.30. Here's Mary with the details. Next from us, a former hospital porter has been charged with child sex offences dating back to 1985. Paul Farrell worked at Great Ormond Street, where Martin Stew is uh, now for us this evening. Martin, what are the details? Files have been passed to the Crown Prosecution Service after two Met Police officers allegedly shared inappropriate photographs of the scene of a double murder in Wembley. The the annual boat race is being moved to Cambridgeshire from the Thames because of the ongoing problems at Hammersmith Bridge and concerns about crowds. Well, the bridge has been closed to cars for 18 months and all river traffic since August after large cracks were found. Katie Barnfield reports. Now, they are two sportsmen at the top of their game. Londoners Benno Obano and Mara Itoje are both England rugby union players. They also happen to be cousins and they both feature in a documentary where it looks at the sport's increasing diversity, but also aims to challenge perceptions of rugby and open it up to people from less traditional backgrounds. Let's take a look. Uh... <laughs> Well, as we said at the start of the programme, London, most of the South East will go into Tier 2 next week. Slough and Kent will be in Tier 3. Those tiers are in place to drive down the infection rate. For those who've contracted COVID, the virus is cruel and the recovery can be very tough and long. Sean Fitzpatrick spent months having to relearn the most basic of tasks like walking and talking. But he's done it and after 245 days in hospital, he's finally home. Maria Chatterjee, who first met Sean in hospital, has been back to see him now. Wow, and what brilliance. All right, time for the weather now. Here's Sally. Now, during lockdown, the only opportunity to meet with a friend has been outside for a walk or a chat on a park bench. Well, as the days get shorter and the nights draw in, the Royal Parks are encouraging people for health and happiness to continue making the most of London's green lungs, whatever the weather. Our senior correspondent, Ronke Phillips, reports. And just before we go, a former London firefighter who died in 2015 is being remembered today with a Google and that's it for now. We are back with the latest after ITV News at 10. Up next, it's the ITV Evening News with Mary. But from me and the rest of the London team, bye-bye.